so the intention is to uh, replace this fog light on a SLK 350 it's 2004 it's got the AMG uh, skirt thing on and the uh, the front valance which is a bit different to the normal one I believe I've been led to believe originally that these just pull out the front uh, my experience of replacing this one the other day says that that's not the case and I did have to get it out the back originally behind the balance but I've since discovered you can do it through the front although it's a bit of a pain so I'm gonna just try and leave this here so hopefully you can sort of see what happens so the torques driver for the three that's one of these little gadgets this is I can say what size it is I'm not sure what size that is if I'm honest but it's fairly small three screws Seems really loose and easy. Let me try and get it out. I think the Germans had a bit of a meltdown when they designed this. So, now then, this little badger does not want to come out of this hole, I tell you, could you not? Doesn't help the fact that someone's put a tire up on the back of the little rubber seal I'll definitely spin it round
he doesn't like it at all. There you go. It does come out. You can see someone's put a cable tie on this. Which didn't help me at all. This is the, uh, the badger should have. This is a Hella version. I think uh, there's lots out there. Now when I actually tried to get this off car parts, car parts for you it was, they said uh, it was the wrong one and it wouldn't fit this vehicle. I took a chance on it and it is the, it is exactly the right one. Um, there doesn't appear to be any difference between left or right, which I find a bit odd, but there's no number difference between the other one. So, anyway. You can see how corroded this is. It's absolutely knackered. No. I did make a note of so the negative is on the little side where that little tab is there just so to get it the right way around on the last one I took the plug I unplugged it inside but there's no real reason to do that so you can see Good as identical. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean this off a little bit. fit. I'm not going to bother with the rubber band. What's the point? Can just turn it around like that. Mm. Ah, now one other thing, do not forget these little clips. take these off the old one Oy. put them on the new one the first one I did I forgot that I took all the put it all back in couldn't get the cl clip in so put these back in now you might need a little screws I'll have to line these up because they tend to move around while you put in the light back in the housing. So, I just couldn't find anywhere where somebody had actually done this with one of these uh, balances. So, this is the tricky bit. Getting this back in. Oh, 
something. You just can't get these on once this is in the hole. So you need to be right before you start. So Don't do them up tight either because you need a little bit of flexibility to be able to move this around a little bit to get them all to line up. Don't get me wrong, this is a fiddle and there is an argument for saying just take the back balance off the balance off the back and do it like that. But I didn't want to jack the car up, start taking turning the steering wheel around, moving things about and all that. So I figured it could be done. Also no car mechanic or anything like that. So pretty basic stuff for me. On cars anyway. So I just want to clean that up a little bit. But there you go, one fog light installed in the SLK350 with the um, so there we have the fog light installed. There, I haven't put the grill back on yet. I'm going to in a minute in the SLK350, which has got the AMG. Kit on it. There is a. There is actually. When you order this fog light, it does actually specify this model of SLK with this body kit on. That's the one I did last week because they both didn't come at the same time, sadly. Okay. Job done. 